Hey guys, Katie here, and today I am talking about the books that I will hopefully be reading in May. I am really excited for this month because, as I said in my wrap-up, I have a bunch of new books and books that I'm extremely interested in, and for the first time in a while I feel like I really do want to get all these books read rather than... I think last month I was just like, I just need to get through these, you know. I have a couple of books from last month that I'm still working on. The first being Oscar Wilde's uh, The Importance of Being Earnest in Other Plays. I read Lady Windermere's Fan, which I really enjoyed, and I read Salome, which was interesting, <laughs> to say the least. So I've really been enjoying these plays, and I just can't wait to get in there and reread The Importance of Being Earnest. And of course I'm still reading Far From the Madding Crowd by Thomas Hardy. I've really been enjoying this. I'm only on chapter 13, but I just need to sit down and read it because it's actually really great. And I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a beautiful classic. The description is just out of this world. And the last book that I'm currently reading, which I started on Sunday, is A Darker Shade of Magic by uh, V.E. Schwab. I have never read anything by her before. I heard that people didn't like Vicious, so I was kind of wary of getting this book. But people seem to be enjoying the book, and I was just looking for something fun and light and fantasy and magic. I mentioned this on Instagram last night, but the premise of this book reminds me a lot of a series I read last year. It was called the Split World series, and it was by Emma Newman. I, I enjoyed the series, it was really fun, but the idea of like multiple versions of London um, that was definitely a thing happening in that book, but it was a cool book. Uh, really interested to see what happens in this one. Next, I am planning to pick up Tales of the City by Armistead Maupin. I am very excited about this, and I have heard that it's kind of a campy read. That sounds kind of fun, and of course the backdrop of San Francisco is really cool. Um, so I don't know much to say about that. I talked about it in my haul. I will definitely review this book later in the month. So I'd like to really finish up everything that I'm working on so I can get started on uh, Kate Mulgrew's memoir, Born With Teeth. I am so excited to have this. I am thrilled to have it in hardback. I'm getting this as soon as humanly possible. Kate Mulgrew plays Janeway in Star Trek Voyager. Janeway is my favorite captain, which is not a very popular opinion, but I just think she has so much strength and really a lot of passion. There's just something about Janeway that's really great. I, I don't think enough people give her credit. I am really interested to read about her life. The next book that I hope to read in May is Life After Life by Kate Atkinson. I actually have heard about this a ton, but what really convinced me was a Book Riot backlist video or article. Either way, it was highly recommended and it sounds like something that I would really enjoy. And also, I got this bargain copy of the hardback, which is awesome. I was about to buy like an $18 paperback when I saw this. So yeah, sales are great. This next book is really special. It was a gift from my dad. He has been studying our family history and there is a portion of our family who settled in a town along the Mississippi River called St. Genevieve. It was one of the first permanent settlements I think in Missouri. We both share a real interest in our family history. He found this book uh, about St. Genevieve and the first families that lived there and uh, my ancestors play a role in this book. So I don't think I'll finish this. It's a very large book and I'm sure it's just full of information. It has some cool maps in it and it just seems like it's going to be something that's fun to learn about. I love to learn about my family history. So. I'm really looking forward to that. Anyway, that's everything that I hope to read this month, although I can't imagine that I'll actually get to all of it, especially because I have a couple of really large books in that pile. Like, whoa. I hope I can wrap up some of the stuff that I've kind of been hanging on to for a while and uh, move into June with kind of a clean slate. One more thing that I wanted to talk about was uh, my blog. I have had effusionsofwit.com for a long time, in fact, for almost a full year now and I thought it might be fun to have a blog that kind of goes along with the channel but also has some original content, you know, strictly on the blog. I'm just getting into the swing of things. If you have any blogging recommendations or tips or whatever, just leave them below. And also if you have a book blog, definitely send me the link in comments. I really need some book blogs to follow. Uh, so I hope that you will check out my blog and also let me know what you're reading this month, and I will see you guys later. Bye!